Dr. Dr. Farkin. Dr. Farkin. Yes. That is right. It is me, Dr. Farkas. Hi, Dr. Hi, Farkas. Dr. Farkas. I came here to promote my new, my new little item to sell. Which would be? Which would be this horn. Look, you can be a pony. <laughs> Ponies don't have horns on the front of their head, though. They're unicorns. All the ponies I know do. Don't argue, boy. All right. Look, you can be a chicken. <laughs> okay, cool, Farkas. But it has so many uses. Name one. You can fool people into thinking you're farm animals. <laughs> oh, like, like what farm animals have little horns growing from their head? The majestic rhinoceros, my friend. Watch this. In the wild, <laughs> no one can tell. If I was a human being with the fake plastic nose or a real rhinoceros, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure people could tell. Well, fine. Why don't you just steal all my glory here? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Marcus, you're wanted in surgery. Why am I always wanted in surgery? Hey, get you a two shot here, Seth, my boy, because. Dr. Farkas is here. Dr. Farkas, you I'm lost, ready to go. You lost your glasses. That is true. I cannot see a thing. <laughs> wow. It's like looking at nothing. <laughs> How was your spring break, Dr. Well, Farkas? Spring break was excellent. What'd you do? I don't remember. <laughs> I was in some sort of haze throughout. Perhaps I was abducted by aliens. I think so. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> it's a crazy world, woman. <laughs> oh, Dr. Farkas, I was just telling our viewers that I, I'm very excited to have this opportunity to work with you. You're such a renowned physician, and I... That is true. Now, let me tell you my thoughts on the crisis in Kosovo. Okay. That Saddam Hussein has to be stopped. <laughs> we can't allow this sort of activities to go on. Him and his Nazi regime are tearing the world apart. It's crazy, I tell you. Something has to be done. We have to pull out of Vietnam now. What are you laughing at? This is serious business. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed with joy, Dr. Farkas. There's nothing joyous about the crisis in Kosovo. <laughs> but you're here working with me, and that makes me happy. Clay is missing out. Yes, Clay. Man, I, Maybe I, he's sick. That's what I was saying. He better be sick. Maybe he needs amputation. Maybe he does. You probably should call him when we're done with the show and see if, you know, you need to make an appointment with that or something. So true. So true. Now, what, what did I say the other day? Someone reminded me of you, Dr. Farkas. I, what, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you were saying. I don't remember what it was, though, but something did make me think of you the other day. Maybe it was a hot dog. I think it was. Because I, like many people, consider myself to be the reincarnation of a hot dog that someone else ate. Oh. All right. Well, I've never really thought about that. Maybe. Perhaps you should. Because once you realize that all you are is a hot dog, life will become much more meaningful. I guess so. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, Dr. Farkas. Where am I going? Dr. Farkas! Hey! No! <laughs> <laughs>